God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Before we reach the close of day, Creator of the world, we pray that in your constant mercy you will keep a guard around us while we sleep. As we to end of life draw near, console us, Lord, remove our fear. May we with light and grace be blessed and find in you eternal rest. Most loving Father, hear our plea. You rule the world with equity. Together with your only Son, and with your Spirit, three in one. Amen. Psalm 4 When I call, answer me, O God of justice. From anguish you released me. Have mercy and hear me. You rebels, how long will your hearts be closed? Will you love what is futile and seek what is false? It is the Lord who grants favors to those whom he loves. The Lord hears me whenever I call him. Fear him. Do not sin. Ponder on your bed and be still. Make justice your sacrifice and trust in the Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. You have put into my heart a greater joy than they have from abundance of corn and new wine. I will lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 91 Those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High and abide in the shade of the Almighty say to the Lord, my refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. It is he who will free you from the snare of the fowler who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand fall at your right, you it will never approach. His faithfulness is buckler and shield. Your eyes have only to look to see how the wicked are repaid. You who have said, Lord, my refuge, and have made the Most High your dwelling. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up upon their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. On the lion and the viper you will tread, 
and trample the young lion and the dragon. You set your love on me so I will save you, protect you for you know my name. When you call, I shall answer, I am with you. I will save you in distress and give you glory. With length of days, I will content you. I shall let you see my saving power. Psalm 133 O come, bless the Lord, all you who serve the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands to the holy place, and bless the Lord through the night. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made both heaven and and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from First Peter chapter 5. Brothers and sisters, discipline yourselves, keep alert, like a roaring lying lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed us, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Protect us under the shadow of your wings. Protect us, Lord, while we are awake, and safeguard us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rest in peace. Lord, let your servant now depart in peace, for you have kept your promise. With my own eyes I see the salvation you prepared for all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles and glory to your people, Israel. Protect us, Lord, while we are awake and safeguard us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rest in peace. Let us pray. Favor our dwellings, Lord, with your presence. Far from them repulse all the wiles of Satan. Your holy angels, let them live where we dwell to keep us in peace. And may your blessing remain always upon us. This we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen.